Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Dylan and Brandy and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Dylan's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The little corrections and lots of motivation that we give him when we're working with him and the training equipment that we're using. Brandy is using a regular six-foot web training leash and she keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in her right hand. That leaves her left hand free to give any correction that's needed and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Dylan is going to come home with his very own training equipment and you're going to be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session with your trainer. Now Dylan is sitting very nicely at Brandy's left which is where all of our obedience training is done. And one thing that I want to start off by saying is when you control the dog's head, you control the whole dog. So our job during the course of training is to keep his head up off the ground because he likes to put everything in his mouth. So the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. The command is Dylan heal. And at this point, he has a job to do and that is to maintain pace with Brandy when she's walking. Whether she's walking, whether she's doing a fast jog, a slow jog, he should be keeping pace with her the whole time and his shoulders are not supposed to pass her left leg. When she stops, he's been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. So everything is about self-control, focus, maturity, and getting him past that terribly oral stage. Brandy's talking to him and when he goes to drop his head, she says no head up and gives that little correction to bring his focus back up onto her. Nice automatic sit and the next command that Brandy's going to demonstrate is the sit stay. It is a hand and a voice command, left open palm, an inch or two from his muzzle and the one word command to stay. Your long sit stay when you're practicing at home, you can practice right indoors. You're going to slowly work up to a three minute long sit stay. When Brandy returned back to him, if you notice, she walked counterclockwise all the way around him, back to heel position, and then she gives him another command. And he didn't move while she returned to him. He waited for that next command. And she talks to him and communicates with him throughout the course of the training. They're cutting trees down or something and every time we go to do a video there's some kind of noise that's coming from we don't know where and it's distracting to the dogs but real life is not distraction free so we keep going. This time instead of returning back to him Brandy's going to demonstrate the recall or the come on command. It's still in come she uses her leash as a guide to bring him right in front and he sits facing her knees and that eliminates him jumping all over you. Again, focus, self-control. When she stops, he sits. She leaves him again in the stay. She uses his name in a happy voice and calls him right in. Has him sit. Good job, buddy. And then go back to heel. Now you can walk slowly with him too. You don't always have to be jogging with him. He should continue to walk nicely at your left when you slow down as well. Next command that we're going to demonstrate is the down from a heel position. So with the dog seated at your left, left open palm straight down toward the ground. The one word command to down and stay. Now you're going to practice this indoors as well as outdoors. Do not let him drop his head onto the ground and eat anything. And you're going to work up to a five minute long down stay. I think he's one of our most improved students. I really do. Brandy returns back to him, back to his shoulders. She heals him out of that and she will demonstrate that command again for you.
He's very, very bright, so we want to keep that mind of his occupied in thinking. A tired dog is a happy owner, and this is tiring for him, not because of so much physical exercise, but because it's mental exercise. Comes in and sits, goes back to heel. And the very last command that we're going to demonstrate for you is Dylan's down from a distance. So with him seated, you leave him in a stay and you turn to face him. You're going to use your right hand to give the command and he drops into a down from a distance. And your homework will be to lengthen out the, uh, the distance between you and the dog when you give him the down. And you're going to work up to a five minute long down stay. Now we are very proud of Mr. Dillon. He has done a fabulous job while he's been with us at school. We've enjoyed having him. He was a little challenging, but he has pulled through and we are very happy and we know you will be too. We look forward to seeing you soon and thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.